Nightly greetings one and all. William Theo here, homegrown and happy to be bringing you the latest major developments here and elsewhere on the planet within the 24-hour news cycle. Atop tonight's news leaderboard, the holy period of Ramadan has begun and over a billion and a half Muslims all over the planet will indulge on month-long and strict dusk-to-dawn fasting in which the tiniest sip of water would invalidate the fast, intense prayers, acts of charity, and yes, feasts. But feasting would be most unlikely this year given soaring inflation and surging food prices from Jakarta, Cairo, Baghdad, Damascus, Dakar, and Lagos, the center and capital of Africa's most populous nation, Nigeria. And many Nigerians admit how they struggle right now to make ends meet and put food on the table amidst the worst economic crisis a generation to hit the country. And in a country where food inflation in Nigeria is at 35%, Nigeria's Muslims, just like everyone else on the planet, will have the images and worsening fate of starving Gaza Palestinians in mind all throughout the observance of Ramadan. Meanwhile, 200 tons of foodstuff, essential items, medicine and miscellaneous stuff are on a cargo boat that just left Larnaca port in Cyprus and is bound for the ravaged city of Gaza where U.S. forces and allies are all set to build a pier to port in Gaza to serve as a maritime corridor for international aid to avert a crisis of starvation among over a million and a half Palestinians. This humanitarian effort is spearheaded by the NGO Open Arms, which has partnered with U.S.-based World Central Kitchen to deliver much-needed nourishment and food to starving Gazans. Delivery trucks carrying tons of food, medicine, water, protein and other relief items have mostly been stuck in checkpoints. Their precious life-saving cargo put on indefinite hold by the IDF and put in warehouses and on shelves gathering dust and without any clear indication when they would be released for distribution to the desperate, sick and starving Palestinians. The United States government vowed to uh, shore up the maritime corridor by building an interim pier along the Gaza coast for receiving supplies. U.S. intelligence has warned Congress of the critical phase of the Russia's war versus Ukraine, whose outcome will tremendously affect America's influence and power in the Western Hemisphere. BOA's congressional correspondent Catherine Gibson reports on the Senate's push for a $95 billion foreign aid bill in the lower house. Running out of ammunition and other key supplies, Ukraine waits for a new round of aid from the United States. Nearly $60 billion approved by the U.S. Senate will not come up for a vote in the House, says Speaker Mike Johnson. Senate lawmakers said Monday that the failure to provide aid would be a serious mistake. And my fear is the decision thus far by the House of Representatives not to even take up legislation that would support Ukraine in their fight against Putin aggression has been one of the most short-sighted decisions on a national security issue that I can possibly imagine. The U.S. intelligence community said in its annual worldwide threats assessment Monday that Russian President Vladimir Putin is counting on Western support for Ukraine to waver. We're at a profoundly important crossroads for Ukraine, for European security, and for long-term American interests around the world. I think down one road um, with supplemental assistance uh, approved by the Congress lies the very real possibility of cementing a strategic success for Ukraine and a strategic loss for Vladimir Putin. The foreign aid bill also includes billions in funding for Indo-Pacific countries to combat Chinese aggression. National Intelligence Director Avril Haines told lawmakers Monday that aggression is projected to increase in the coming year. Beijing will continue to use its military forces to intimidate its neighbors and to shape the region's actions in accordance with the PRC's priorities. We expect the PLA will field more advanced platforms, deploy new technologies, and grow more competent in joint operations with a particular focus on Taiwan. But House Republicans say they will not consider the foreign aid bill until changes are made to U.S. immigration law that make the U.S.-Mexico border more secure. We're taking our hard-earned tax dollars and sending them 
5,000 miles away without any end in sight. Meanwhile, our borders wide open and our American citizens are being murdered on their streets. That's a problem. House Democrats and some Republicans are exploring options for forcing a vote on the foreign aid bill, which also includes nearly 14 billion in assistance for Israel and humanitarian assistance for Gaza. Catherine Gibson, VOA News. At this time, we turn to a colleague in the PTV Pine City studios for the latest developments in the Cordilleras. Ala. Naim bag Arab i Pilipinas agpal palagit manan ti Department of Education Cordillera iti saan a panagkolektar dagiti pagadalan iti kontribusyon para iti umadanin a graduation rights. Sigun iti departamento at dati na awat da a report may nag iti panagkolektar dagiti PTA members can school heads iti kontribusyon para ita atawan. Iso ang nagpalagit damanan kadag iti naganakan faculty members kontra iti panagkolekta kadag iti donasyon iti pagadanan. Para iti moving up kan graduation ceremony, inyon ay unay ni Regional Director Estela Carino asaan nakasapulan ang nagarbo ti celebrasyon. Noan niya dag iti dekorasyon manipod iti maintenance and operating expenses when ang MOOE isulang tinaskan ang mausar. Kaya ba't na nagbalakad mo ti DepEd Cordillera kadag iti school head amang palubos lata iti panagkolektar iti pondo. At na ang nag itinapayan iti show cost order, gapo iti panaglabsing, iti daytoy a pamilin. At tultuloy iti monitoring ti departamento, kadag iti eskulaan, tatno maliklikan ti panaglabsing. Silulukat mo ti opisina da para kadag iti reklamo manag iti koleksyon. If it cannot be addressed by the MOE and no one will voluntarily donate for that, then leave it there. No? So that will be oh, oh, instead of wanting to beautify something, want, wanting to repair something, that uh, you will uh, force the parents to contribute. That's a no-no. Iti sa balya damag ikagkagumaan ti lokal na gobyerno ti Baguio Alipasan dagiti aggigidan a patarabaho kong proyekto iti Athletic Bowl tapno agbalinday to'y a world-class sports facility. Sigun kini Mayor Benjamin Magalong may sakar dagiti kangunan a may patumpal itatawan ti rehabilitasyon ti Tartan Track. Iti agdama nga min, adun nagiti pa sa ti Tartan Track, iti Athletic Bowl nga arig na naabutan, kan natuklap ga po iti nabayag apan nakausang na. Kinuna ti Mayor nga itatawan a may implementar ti rehabilitasyon ti pasilidad a napunwan iti 100 million pesos tapno maigidan kadag iti manariman a proyekto iti entero a sports complex. Dan danimutan ang milapas ti Mar Aramid at Tennis Court a pinunduan mismo ti lokal na gobyerno kaya ti konstruksyon ti Baro Agate ti sports facility. Masiangkat pa ay iti kapitan a panawan ti panakisimpa kaya panakipintura manan ti grandstand. Na ito ding mat ang maipiaribi ti Youth Convergence and Sports Complex ang napunduan iti nasurok 380 million pesos. Narugyan da ito'y iti 2022 ng maadudat iti timawd a parikot iti kontraktor. Kapo iti da ito'y kinuna ni Mayor Magalong a winaswas na ti kontrata kan impa blacklist na tinaso a kontraktor ti proyekto. Iti plano ti multipurpose building kan adan ti paradaan, Youth Convergence Center, Trade Hall, IT Research Center, Youth Sports Museum, Youth Development Center, Conference Room, kan da dumapay. Pero actually, yung foundation niyan, lahat na tapos na. Mabilis na lang yan. Yung, uh, mabilis din yung ginagawa ngayon na atlet, uh, athletic uh, quarters, athletes quarters, mabilis yun. Nasa, kwa yun, on the right track yun. Yung tennis court natin, advanced pa nga yun. Eh. In terms of schedule niya, advanced. Yung pag-aayos natin nung gate, yung perimeter nung buong area. Pa na rin yun, na on the right track din tayo doon. Wala naman tayong slippage doon. Dagita, dagiti damdamag, manipo dito'y PTV Cordillera, siyak ni Ala Sunduan, na imbag, Arabi. Thank you, Ala, and that's all for tonight. We look forward to you joining us again tomorrow, same time, same location on your remote and browser. Keep in mind to always work hard, dream big, give thanks, and stay connected while you catch the news right here. William Theo wishing you all a restful night ahead.